Hello everyone, my name is Jadas Patel and you are watching Jadas Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 33 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully see that how can we create this one. So in this tutorial we are going to working on the create a form here, just like here. So we will try to design this form from here. So wasting of time, let's get start. So what we are going to do here just simply we are come back into the footer.php and here we are creating one form tag here which method will be post and then we are creating one div with the id equal to f input input which means footer input here we are going to uh, create a uh, get one icon so simply we are going to copy this uh, i tag from here and paste that i tag from here and we change this uh, font square to user okay let's see what we have here yes user and then we are creating one input tag here input type equal to text not tell text name equal to you query placeholder enter your name then our next task is <coughs> in the same way we are going to copy this one from here by control C and paste that one from here by control V change the user to envelope and here query email here we are going to change the query name and then after we need one more uh, here let's see yeah okay so here we directly use a text area text area open close user name equal to message and placeholder equal to enter your message okay so let's see the output so i'm come back here refresh this page so you can see that there is a output is coming here so now what we are going to do here just simply we need to design that one so how can we design that so we are targeting f input from here so let's come back into the style.css and from here we directly define has f output so we need to design uh give the height and width from here so its width will be 100 percent its height will be 30 pixel and then its uh background will be has 7 8 4 uh what's the output let's see uh, yeah here it is Seven four double eight ninety. Okay, this is the background of that uh, output. So let's see. Nothing is coming from here, but we need to design that one also. So we use here f input. Have some input tag. Then it's a uh, background none. Its outline also be none. Then it's a uh, height same as uh, our main height of our F input and its width will be 88% and here we are going to use F input 
have some eye tag then it's uh, width will be 10 percent and then its uh, color will be as fff let's see what's the output are coming here refresh it so i need to clear the history first of all from here and also let's check f input or something else yeah f input perfect so let's clear the history first of all from here so we can get the output okay so history is clear now now let's refresh it so you can see that our output is coming from here but we need to remove the border from here so border width zero pixel refresh it so you can see that the output is coming perfectly and then we set here text align center refresh that one so you can see that the output and then let's say some margin from bottom margin bottom two percent let's refresh it so you can see that the output is coming now let's see the color of this one okay so its color is uh, has three f five two six seven okay so let's check the output our main website here it is so you can see that the color is coming from here perfectly also we need to change the color from here let's uh, give some radius first of all from here border radius 3 pixel let's refresh and check it how it look like refresh it no radius is coming let's uh, come with the okay, okay 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 we make a mistake here we need to water radius this uh, our main input footer input this one paste that one from here refresh it so you can see that the output is coming perfectly now so the next task is we need to decrease the font size so let's say here font size will be 14 pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that font size is now 14 pixel we also need to set the color of that placeholder so how can we do that so simply uh, let's check first of all here okay so white color background is coming so here we can use like this we need to change the placeholder color so we set here webkit dash input dash placeholder not baby kit it's web kit and we set the color like a color 3fi267 let's refresh and check here it is refresh it give the important Yes, web kit input placeholder yeah all are perfect so why it's not coming here so let's again change the clear history we are browsing data refresh it why it's not coming has three of five to six seven let's check the placeholder spelling here it is paste that one from here refresh it okay let's uh, change the uh, in the same way we will fix it later but in the same way we can use for the text 
area okay let's refresh it f input text area yeah so its background will be has uh, 74889 e let's refresh it not coming what's the matter man put the yeah text area outside of the ally yeah just for that reason yes let's give the new also no, 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 we can, we cannot give the ID of that view. So we directly, what we are going to do here, just simply, we remove this F footer to footer. UL ally have some text area, then it's color and something like that. All, all are, so you can see that, that is coming perfectly from here. So also we set the width hundred percent. So now we can refresh and check. You can see that. Let's uh, set the border radius property from here. So we'll copy this one from here, paste that one from here, refresh it. You can see that. Now we need some height of their uh, text area. So we can set the height equal to let's say one fifty pixel refresh it okay i think we already set the height here yes 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 so we need to remove this one from here now refresh and check okay i think this is too much so we need to set with 100 pixel now it's looking very good now we need to set some padding from all side of that uh, text area so we use a padding 2% and box sizing will be the border box let's refresh and check you can see that I think we need to set it with the 5% refresh it again ok nice looking very good perfect you can see that so now the next task is we need to set here a button so okay do that so simply we are come back again into the footer and we set the one button tag here button tag over and say send okay so let's see so here is the button available so now we have to design that button from here so okay do that so simply we said here has footer ul li have some button then it's uh, width will be 20 percent its height will be 30 pixel its uh, border width border width zero pixel its uh, outline will be outline will be none and it's a color okay no, no not a color it's background will be this one which is our twitter background okay okay uh, also we can set the 748890 that background also we can set it and we set also color will be has fff which means white color let's see the output so you can see that now we need to set here margin from top 4% let's see ok so you can see that let's uh, do it with the 2% refresh it nice looking very good also set the border radius property so we are going to copy this one from here and paste that one from here refresh the page so you can see that I think we need to increase some width. So we set the 40%. So you can see that now we need to set it from the right side. So we can set float right property here.
Let's refresh and check. So you can see that now the button is coming perfectly. I'm going to show you one more thing here so you can see that this is the disadvantage of this page. You can resize this one as you can need it. So we have to remove this kind of error. So how can we remove that? So simply we are going to text area and here we said resize none. Okay. So now let's take output. So you can see that now we doesn't reset or resize this one. You can see that. You can see that clearly. Okay. So now we can also set this kind of uh, thing from here. Refresh it. We are going to copy this one from here. Paste that one from here. WebKit placeholder input WebKit dash input dash placeholder all are perfect but I don't know why it's not coming we will see you in next tutorial this okay so guys uh, also we need to set some more width from the H2 margin bottom 8% let's see okay I think some more spaces we needed 10% and let's see refresh it so I think this one is perfect. This one is perfect. I think we need to some more uh, line height here. 24% and see what we have here. You can see that now it's looking very good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, same way we can set it this one. But this is not necessary. So now one thing. One more thing from here. Let's uh, give some more height of this one. So this is 35 and when someone hover on it, so it will be cursor pointer. Okay. Let's see. Refresh it. So you can see that now it's cursor. Okay. So I think guys, this is enough for today. In next tutorial, we are going to working on these lines. How can we get these lines and this one on this share buttons? Okay. So guys, I think this is enough for today. If you guys are like my videos, then like and share my videos. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will meet you in next tutorial. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. Thanks all for watching, guys. Goodbye.